Hi guys. I am going to do um, a couple different nail designs. I've already prepped two sticks. I'm going to do two different designs. This one I've done two coats of Tutti Cutie as my base. And this one I've done two coats of dance shoes as my base. So the first design I wanted to try was a little bit of marbling. I have my three colors that I want to use here. Um, so I'm going to put another coat of Tutti Cutie on and I'm going to leave it wet. Make sure it's on nicely. Okay. I have chosen two of our fine brushes to use and I think for my first lines I'm going to use the dance shoes. And I'm just going to get some polish onto this brush and I'm just going to kind of vein this through how I want it to be. There's no real right or wrong way when you're doing this for marbling. Just a little bit more down here. Okay. And I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit and then I'm just going to drag it till I'm happy, till it looks marbly enough for me. Look at that. That's pretty good. All right. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the dusky blue and pull it through how I want it to be. good to me and then the last color I want to put some sparkle through so I'm using just a little bit of sandcastle and I want to get some of that in in there okay so there's that bring it up a bit so you can see so the lines are pretty strong, so I want to actually smooth those out a bit. So now I'm going to take my fine brush and I'm just going to kind of, actually I'm going to wet it with a cleanser pad a little bit. So it's a little wet. And I'm just going to finally go over and kind of soften up my marbling and blend it out a bit. If you like it, um, the lines hard and that you can leave them like that. I want to go for a little more soft, a little softer look. Now, pretty good. So there's a marbling. If you wanted to, you could even change it more. You could go back in, say you wanted more of the dark or some big chunks of the dark. Maybe I'll put through. in a little bit more with the dance shoes. Ooh, that was a big thing like this. You can just wiggle it. And the nice thing about this polish is if you 
are playing and you don't really like the way it looks at the end, you can just erase it by wiping it off with a cleanser pad and start from scratch. I like that. I think I'm going to put a tiny bit more blue down here. Maybe a bit up in there. And marble, help cure that one. This nail, I'm going to show you. Oh, after you're done, I'll just show you when this one's. I'll wait till this one's done. I'm doing these because I'm trying to decide what I'm going to put on my nails tonight. My nails are naked right now. I know I'm going to use a combination of these colors. I'm just not 100% sure what all I want to do. So I thought I'd do them on nail sticks first and see what I like. These ones, I've, this one I'm going to do a simple flower and I'll be using, so there's that, done. So what you do when you do any kind of art is you just top at the end with a coat of Clearly Frisky and it just evens everything out and smooths it over and that actually made a nice color combo for a marbled look. Cute. So for the flower what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the smaller dotting tools it's not the smallest, this side is a bit smaller, but I'm going to take the smaller one and I am going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to do eight and then I'm going to flip this around so you can see this and I'm just going to drag those, this is the smaller side, into the middle. There's the marbled one all finished. Pretty. Wipe off. These with cleansers are handy. If you could just use a little piece of paper towel or a tissue as well just to wipe off in between. But I like the cleansers because it just, with um, the moistness of the pad, it really cleans the tool as well. That's good for a flower. And then I'm going to take some of this one, the sandcastle for the center of my flower. So there's just a simple little flower. You can do another type of flower um, if you use the bigger brush, the bigger dotting tool, and I'll need a little bit more polish. You want to do like the end of your nail. So I'm gonna go one, two, and three, maybe a little bit on the edge, four. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that actual brush and bring it down for that large dotting tool on the side there. And then I'm gonna flash cure it. Flash curing is just curing for around 30 seconds. Um, when you're doing a design like that, if you just have dots or the little bit on the edge like that as an accent, you can flash cure as you're going. And then when you're finished with your design, then you can do a complete cure at the end. 
so so I've switched now to my fine um, dotting tool for this other flower that's probably good and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just dot 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 like that and then I think I'm also going to just add a couple little streaks in here of this Isn't that pretty? Super simple and easy to do. So there's a couple little nail art tricks for you. Um, polish is really fun to play with for nail art, so I hope you enjoyed that.